Okay, so here we have some socket 1366 uh, FPGA. So these are flip grid um, pin arrays. And as you can see, there's little bumps on here rather than pins, which means there's a lot less gold uh, on these. Now, we have several hundred of these and we want to recycle them. So typically that's now done uh, with gold recyclers. And one of the things they want to know is underneath this cap, which is where the actual chip is, uh, is there a gold drop or is there a silver drop? The silver drop is, doesn't add any value, but the gold drop certainly does. So we're gonna figure out how to take this cap off and uh, we've never done this before. We Googled it, we YouTubed it, couldn't find anything on it. So it either means it's really obvious or um, nobody's done it that wants to record it. So it's really hard. Either way, we're gonna find out. So we've brought in basically the hammer. <laughs> we've just brought in a screwdriver. And we're just gonna try to pop one of these off. So let's see what we can get. Uh, I'm figuring if this doesn't work, I'll have to get a heat gun and heat it up. And yes, we're going to destroy the chip doing this, by the way. The biggest thing I have to worry about here is having this slip and take a slice out of my finger, which it did a few weeks ago and I was working on a different project you may have seen. It's certainly fun. So if I can't get this to work here in a minute, uh, I'm going to take this out to a uh, vise and I'm going to put it in a vise and try to pop it off. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to take a heat gun and I'm going to uh, heat it up and to pop it off. See if it's just sort of heat glued on here, heat sealed on. I'm trying to hold it didn't work, so let's try to put it in a vise and see if I can get it undone this way. So I'm going to put it in a vise with a piece of cloth around it so it don't do even more damage than I need to. And yeah, I know I'm going to mangle this. I just want to know if this comes off, so let's just find out. Well, that's one way. There we go. That's it. So now I can take this out of the vise and I'll bet I can just pry the rest of this off. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Can you hear it? Oh yeah. So let's see what we get. Do we have gold or do we have silver? If we have gold, this is worth about, apparently about 30% more. If we have silver, well, then we have silver. Okay, well that's useless. <laughs> yeah. So that's the uh, FPGA, that's the uh, packaging for the actual chip. The actual chip is here. So we have to get this goop off. This is disappointing. I was hoping that this would stay soldered onto the board and then uh, we'd be able to see what the chip is. But uh, apparently that's not going to happen. So let's just go around this and see what we can figure out. Now, if we were doing this professionally, we would use solvents to get it out but uh, we're not we're just hacks and we're just trying to figure out what's in here because we've got a lot of these and they're almost certainly identical so let's see what we get well I see gold around there so perhaps perhaps that's gold um, although it's awfully thin so I don't know that so what I'm going to use now is I'm going to use a heat gun to heat this up and see if we can separate it. Okay, so here we have our high quality Wagner heating gun and uh, what we're gonna do is heat that sucker up and see if it'll just pry off with temperature. And you'll notice I'm not holding it because I don't like to get burned. This is, as they say, this ain't no hair dryer. This is uh, serious stuff. So this is gonna get very hot. You can see it's burning the cloth. It's actually on fire at this point. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to pull the cloth out of there. Okay, so I've removed the cloth because, you know, I'm not a fan of the, fly, of the fire. And uh, we're going to heat this up so it's insane. We're going to see if this will just slide off or if it's, you know, on there with some other materials that we care about. Or we'll see if it's on there with some other materials we can't get through. It won't be a shock to find that Intel has bonding agents that uh, are stronger than our $25 Wagner heater. Oh, we're going to mangle this good. Woo! Look at that. It's off. Silver. Boo. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so let's take another one. 
And with this time, we're going to try to heat it up first and then try to separate and see if we can get this to come apart in a little bit prettier format than the last one we completely mangled. We're going to want to heat that right up because we're not going to be able to get this chip to work again. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is an old Celeron chip from the year 2014, so not exactly something we're worried about. Let's give it a shot here. So let's keep going around and jam that in there as hard as we can and see if we can get it off. Okay. There we go, okay. So let's lift that up and if that just, oh yeah, look, that popped right off, perfect. So the short answer is that's the way to do it. Look at all that silver. Okay, so uh, in this case, we've been able to see that what's underneath the uh, chip and the heat cap is uh, a silver bonding agent. And uh, you can see there's actually a fair amount of it there. That is going to be recovered, I would think. So uh, now at this point, uh, what is recoverable is that silver. And by the way, that's actually silver. That's not some weird amalgam or whatever, that's silver. Um, and then below is the gold. And when we send these in for recycling, somebody's going to recycle all of this. And um, yeah, we'll make a few bucks out of it. Okay, and now just keep in mind, having one or two of these won't get you any recycling money. Having uh, 50 of these won't get you any recycling money. Having 250 of these, that'll make you a few bucks. Um, they, it seems to go for about, uh, these types of chips uh, go by weight. And they seem to go for about four, maybe five dollars a pound, depending on who you deal with. And you think, pound? What's that got to do with anything? Well, that's how they get uh, handled. They're just so worthless. So having 250 um, will probably get you somewhere in the area of about 75 bucks. That gives you an idea of what this is worth. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.